Welcome to the News Channel 15 Newsroom. This is a typical Friday afternoon around here, and busiest on Friday are the people in the sports office. We got 17 on the big board, 15 in South Carolina, two in North Carolina. How many people shooting all these games? We've got uh, nine or 10. It happens to be this week that a, a lot of the games are more towards the beach end as opposed to the PD. So it'll be very busy in here tonight. It's going to be uh, pretty intense from about 9.45 to 11.14 p.m. So I'm going to avoid the newsroom from those hours. Thanks a lot, Rich. Hi, right, man. <laughs> this is the nerve center of the newsroom where the ideas get discussed, the shows get written, we decide which stories we're going to cover. This is Jamie Rita. She's working on our 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock broadcast tonight. And this is Johnny Green. He's our executive producer and our 6 o'clock show producer. He's working on a show right now. Johnny, what you doing? Right now, actually, I'm training our new producer who just joined the team, Jennifer Ah. Jennifer? Oh, Johnny's just teaching me how to write teases for the next newscast. How's it going so far? You're, you're our newest producer. You're working on the overnight show, and eventually you might even get on camera a little bit. How do you feel about things so far? Uh, it's great, and I love the area. I love Myrtle Beach. Good answer. <laughs> Thanks. Now to the part of the station that you've all probably seen before, where we say the magic happens, the studio. Come on. We're going to start in the studio, and probably one of the most interesting parts of it, this big blue wall. You probably don't recognize it, but it's something, believe it or not, you see every night. Now here's someone I'm sure you've all seen before, Mr. Ed Piotrowski. Ed, what you doing? Working on the forecast. Working on the forecast. What's the forecast look for today? This is a day in October. October, it would, it's supposed to feel like fall, but this is a summertime forecast near 90 with a chance of showers and storms on this October day. So if you happen to be watching this in August, <laughs> we'll just pretend that this is October. Exactly. That's the way to do it. All right. Are you going to show us the blue wall real quick? Yeah, let's do that. All right, this is the big blue wall. I'm standing in front of a blue wall every night. The camera takes a picture of me in front of this big blue wall, but the camera's trained not to see this color blue. So you've got a picture of me in front of a blue wall that goes back to the control room. And of course, all of our maps go back there as well. And then electronically, they're superimposed together. And the end result is what you see here, what appears to be me standing in front of maps. And I'm actually looking at these televisions on either side of me so I can actually point. So this is our viewing area. This is North Carolina, Virginia. So I'm actually watching the television to be able to determine where I'm pointing when I'm actually on TV each night. If you've seen me before, it's probably been sitting behind this desk in this chair every night at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 11 o'clock bringing you the news. So how do I do it? I'll show you. And we'll see you back here on the air again for News Channel 15 at 6. That's how we do it. These cameras are actually mirrors, and they put words up on the screen, so we read them right there. It's called a teleprompter, and anchors usually really depend on them. Two, one. Am I turn the way? While we're on the set, people are in this room. This is called studio control, and they're punching the buttons to make sure that the program goes on air, make sure all the video runs, and make sure you're seeing the right person talking when that person's talking. So this is a very important place for our newscasts. I have, a, I have an update. This is the sales department at WPDE. It's pretty empty right now, but that's a good thing because hopefully the salespeople are out selling. We're going to talk to Blaine Holland real quick. She's a salesperson here. Blaine, what does a salesperson do at a TV station? Well, actually, Tim, we're not much different than you. We actually represent the station and try to um, get our advertisers on and share the airtime as you do. So you bring money into the station. You pay our bills. Uh, that, and you do too. All of us. All of us pay our bills. I'll say that. All right. Thanks a lot, Blaine. No, oh. oh, you can't get away with that. This is Cameron Murray's office. Cameron makes our show Carolina and Company with Amanda Kinseth. What you working on right now, Cam? Well, as a matter of fact, I am editing a segment that's going to run in two weeks for our lovely uh, clients with Sandy Cooper, as a matter of fact. What it, for people out there that don't know what Carolina Company is, tell me real quick what it is and when you can see it. Well, what we do is we go around and to the entire Grand Strand, the PD. We like to highlight businesses, events, uh, groups, charities, and put them on our show. And uh, you can see it every weekday at noon on ABC, 1130 at night on the CW, and 8 a.m. on weekdays on the CW. And if Cam looks familiar, that's because we saw him in sports a little while ago. He's going to be shooting football later tonight, right? High school football, nothing better than that. Rock on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a quick tour of WPDE. Of course, there are a lot of people we didn't have a chance to introduce you to who help put the news on every night. Once you come by the station sometime, we'll introduce you to them.